Today we're gonna explore together how we can pull off this uh, sort of uh, 3D box look over here together. We'll do that dude. Let's go guys. Okay, so uh, we're gonna try to break down how we can create this sort of uh, illusion of a 3D box over here. So what we're gonna do is to create a new, jump in a new composition and test out some uh, technique first. I actually animated this poster once and the first time I did it, I was just like just jamming away, not even trying to find any shortcuts, just doing hand by hand and create two shapes like this as uh, either sides of the box and then create a middle shape over here like this. And then, you know, I animated the, the position of this box over here uh, to come from this side and goes into this side, goes into this position over here. This box, this position of the box, I just animate them to go from one side to the other. It is very painstaking and, you know, I, I because I had a lot of time I didn't put, put a lot of thought into how I can just improve the entire workflow faster. But that's what I did. Obviously, it's gonna be much smoother than this, but that's what I did in the first time. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Vietnam, brother. So I'm like uh, to the east of you. Right. So that's that's how I did it the first time. And every time I want to adjust the uh, speed of these two keyframes over here, I'm gonna have to jump and adjust them simultaneously. I don't have a lot of flexibility. If I want it to bounce up and down like this, I'm gonna have to parent uh, whichever two points over here to this uh, side. And that's something that I'm gonna experiment with. So I'm gonna head over here to content, rectangle, and for the rectangle path, I'm gonna break it down to a Bezier path. And for these two points, I'm gonna just be focusing on them. Uh, same goes for the shape in the middle. One thing about this uh, experiment is that everything's gonna have to be precise and you know, it's almost relative. You cannot be 100% precise. And if you just try to upload it uh, onto Instagram, and I think I don't think people are gonna notice, but you know, if you want this to be a little bit more professionally displayed, Play, I think uh, this is probably not the method to go with but in, uh, in After Effects one of the built-in script is called create nulls from path we're gonna create uh, some nulls that uh, the points are gonna follow so create points follow nulls I think why these nulls are a little bit of offset is because uh, the f I think the shape that we originally created uh, came out from over here here uh, here is the same thing uh, window create nulls from pass and point follow nulls and this one has a little bit more precise position of the nulls so these these two nulls over here belongs to these two points I'm gonna hide these two away okay these two nulls over here are the one that's gonna be sticking to uh, these two points of this shape over here or of this one just gonna color something out. There we go. So I'm gonna make sure they are the only ones that are visible on the screen. So three and four. And now what I'm gonna do is parent this uh, null over here to this null. So it's two to nine. And uh, obviously one is gonna go to seven, I think. Yeah. Boom. Exactly. Okay. So now we get uh, seven and nine that are that are gonna be, gonna be controlling the uh, other two nulls. And yeah, let's control these nulls. Nulls. <laughs> right now, what I've actually done was for, uh, forgetting about the other two nulls. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is parent the seven, eight, nine nulls into the ten nulls. So now if I drag this in. The entire shape is gonna come up like down, and it's sort of creating this uh, illusion that it is a 3D box, like so. And if I just put them into the same color like that, we'll just imagine it's like a 3D box. I think this is not something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna not gonna go with because, uh, as you can see in the original poster over here, it might work with this one, which is like a basic square. 
but for instance if uh, like uh, if I want to draw like a, a square of a different size I'm gonna have to set up the whole thing again and I you know just figure out which gnaw is which and then drag it out and then make sure the other gnaw is in the same uh, is in the same trajectory and you know everything just sort of messed up so you know if you're organized and you have a pretty good naming system for all of these gnaws uh, and then you can definitely go with it. We're just gonna find out if this work. So again, okay, we got a square over here. And you know, this is like a basic blending effect in Illustrator. And some of you might know about this already. Just gonna give it a try anyway, which is the echo effect. Bad, like I said, type in effects and preset over here in the panel. Type in echo. And in the time uh, module over here, we got this uh, effect. What's what it gonna do is that as the square is moving from, from point A to point B, the effect is gonna create like multiple multiple duplicates. Uh, so it's like uh, creating some sort of tail depending on which uh, timing inputs we put into this effect. So it's like uh, we can have it offset it by zero. 0.003 seconds over here 0 0.05 seconds which is like a much bigger difference over here but this is uh, pretty much a different instance of the object and this number of echoes over here we can actually adjust how many instances of the uh, object is going to be created over here so uh, two like this going to create two instances uh, they are both going to be offset by this uh, this amount this value of time so now what we're going to do is have it offset it by minus uh, 0 0.03003 and pull the number of echoes up to about maybe 60 for 72 and now as you can see it's starting to look like the sort of effects that we're, we're trying to achieve over here but uh one of the disadvantages of it is that it's creating so many jaggedy edges edges over here uh, because of the velocity that the square is traveling at, uh, the shape cannot catch up with uh, a square is looking as it cannot just blend everything in. It's gonna take a lot of time and even, even so we still see some jaggedy edges over here. I th uh, yeah, I don't think it's very optimal. Wow, don't you bend trong AI? Yes, exactly, đúng, chính xác em. Nó, nó y hệt y nó y hệt như blend nhưng mà nó sẽ có một cái thứ khác là nó sẽ tự biến mất uh, trong uh, trong quá trình uh, quá trình di chuyển so <coughs> there's one final way that I'm gonna uh, introduce to you guys get rid of get out of it. get out get them. and here we are and ever since I animated this poster about two years ago I've been thinking about uh, all the ways that we can uh, I can actually approach it uh, more efficiently and I think that this looks like a system of mass one big ass shape like this is going to be contained within another another shape that's uh, dictating the uh, trajectory of the shape like so so imagine uh, the shape that touches this shape over here on this side uh, carry along this this end over here to and just have it mass out entirely like this and then I'm gonna put this mass into this mass over here so uh, what I've basically done was shaping the outside mass to look like what the box would look like as it extends out in a three-dimensional space there we go like so <laughs> Jeez, that took a while. Basically, it sort of looked like this. So, if our eyes, you know, if your mind can just ignore the entire process that we just went through of creating this mass over here and this big, big shape, is gonna create the illusion that this is a shape that that is expanding from this side to this side and it's starting to look like a like a 3d shape so i think this is the optimal way of uh, going about this uh, process because it is i think it's the most flexible it can be like just uh, adjusted with many different size and also it doesn't it doesn't take up a lot of space on the memory okay so this is going to be a setup of uh, two 
shape layers for each of the setup over here. And first thing I'm gonna that I'm gonna do is dividing this uh, this main title into four main object uh, per line of the letters over here. A little bit, hang on. Uh, so this one gonna be up here. Let's take this one down here. Let's make it uh, quick. Take this mask, drag it down. Boom, easy, easy peasy, easy Mr. White. Let's go. And for each of this, I'm gonna create a box. So let's imagine uh, the box with me. The day is Friday in California. California. So just gonna mark it out like this a little bit, make it easier to see. Uh, have it rest, rest there for, for a while. Our workflow for this. Make this a different shape and then scale it up. Like so. And then have it arranged somewhere out here. And then for the mask, I'm gonna create a, another shape layer. Yeah, let's do that. A rectangle tool, create that, paint it something else bluish like this drop it down I think this, this is probably 45 degrees right it's 45 degrees so I'm gonna create a mass that is going from this this edge to this edge by just increasing the uh, width of the mass like this like so this one's a little bit off just that brilliant so this is gonna be our mask number one and this is gonna be our 3d shape number one this shape layer I can hide and with that I think we are ready pretty much ready to line this shape up inside of the mask Right. <laughs> I was like, where am I going with this? It's not even me today. Just create one point over here, one point on this side, and these two we can do away with. Just hide it again, hide it again and see what goes. There we go. <laughs> We've done it. We have done it, boys. It is here. <laughs> the setup is here. Been a long time coming. Um, drag this box over here until it covers the original design like this. And here's the uh, genius part over here. I'm gonna um, parent. Uh, the position of this shape is gonna move with the position of the main title. Ooh, like so. So every time I move this title around, it's gonna come up uh, with. It's gonna look like the box is coming up as well. Okay. The only thing we need to worry about now is make sure, is make sure it moves uh, diagonally. Right now, I'm just gonna divide this uh, position, separate these dimen uh, dimensions into uh, x and y. I'm gonna keyframe these two over here. This is a boring part that I, I I should have warned you guys about, but this is the math part over here. Boom. Drop the opacity a little bit. Now we got a little bit of a reference point for the square. Like so. So that's we just went from 303 to 365. Hat Edna Daddy. I can't believe I just did that live. Holy shit. We're getting there, boys. Let's go. That's when you started seeing more viewer came in. Holy <laughs> shit. So, for the rest of the stream, uh, besides talking about uh, music and K pop, 
I applied the same shape and masking principle with the other types and yeah and it worked pretty well. I put in some uh, bouncing animation with the types to give them a little bit more life. Yeah, I hope this stream has been uh, helpful to some of you guys even though most of you apparently join uh, as soon as I'm about to wrap up. So yeah. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to those who has joined me on the live stream and I'll, I'll do more of these in the future and I'll let you guys know when I'm about to drop one. So yeah, see ya.